The next topic is what is crystal lattice and the space lattice and what are the unit cells and what are different types of the unit cell. Now first we will understand what is crystal lattice. A regular arrangement of the constant particle like that of atom, ions and molecules in a, in a crystal in three dimensional space is known as the crystal lattice or the space lattice. There are the some characteristic points of the crystal lattice. Each point in the crystal lattice represent a constant particle which may be atom, ion or molecule. Each point in the lattice is called lattice point or the lattice site. These points are joined by the line just to prevent the geometry of the lattice. Now understand the unit cell. The smallest three dimensional portion the smallest three dimensional portion of the complete space lattice which when repeated over and again and again in different direction produce the complete space lattice is known as the unit cell. The unit cell are of the various types. Number one that is primitive unit cell in which the particles are present at the corner only. This is the example of the simple cubic arrangement which is known as the simple centered cube. Here the atoms are present only at the corner of the cube. Now the second is body centered cube. Here the constant particles are present at the corner as well as in the center of the body. Now the face centered cube. In this case the constant particles are present at the corner as well as at the center of the each face. While in case of end centered cube when in addition to the particles at the corner there are the particles at the center of any two opposite faces. It is called end centered cube. Now in case of face centered cube the particles are present in the corner as well as the center of the each six face of the unit cell. And this is the body centered cube. Now how we calculate the number of the atoms which are present in case of simple centered cube, body centered cube and face centered cube and end centered cube. The atom which is present in the corner has a contribution of 1 by 8 to that particular unit cell. Therefore, the contribution of each atom present at the corner is equal to 1 by 8 because 8 corners are present in the unit cell. Therefore, the number of the atoms which are present in the unit cell is 8 into 1 by 8 that is 1. This is the method by which we have to calculate the number of the atoms which are present in the particular unit cell that is simple centered cube. Here the number of the atoms are 8 which are present in the corner and the contribution which is given by atom at the corner is 1 by 8. So 8 into 1 by 8 will give you 1. This is the number of atoms present in the particular unit cell. Now here body centered cube. Now in the case of the body centered cube an atom present within the body of the unit cell is shared by no other unit cell. Hence the contribution of each atom within the body is 1 and the atoms which are present in the corner has its contribution 8 into 1 by 8 plus 1 which are present within the body. Therefore the number of atoms are 2 in case of body centered cube. While in case of end centered cube the number of atoms which are present in the corner of the cube that is 8, 8 into 1 by 8 plus 2 atoms which are present on the two opposite faces that is 2 into 1 by 2. Now we have to add both of them we are getting number of atoms that is 2, 2 atoms are present on the per unit cell in which we are having and face centered cubic lattice. Now in case of face centered cube, in case of face centered cube 8 atoms are present in the corner and its contribution is 1 by 8 while we are having 6 faces and each atom is present on the center of the each face and the contribution of the face atom is 
द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच फेस एटम इज वन बाय टू देर फोर वी आर हैविंग सिक्स एटम्स ऑन ईच फेस ऑफ द क्यू सिक्स इंटू वन बाई टू प्लस एट एटम्स आर एट द कॉर्नर एट इंटू वन बाय एट तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ एटम्स आर फोर इन केस ऑफ फेस सेंटर्ड क्यूब द यूनिट सेल ऑफ द क्रिस्टल सिस्टम द क्रिस्टल सिस्टम generally depends upon the parameters of the unit cell like the length abc and the angle alpha beta gamma and there are seven types of the unit cells and these are also called the crystal system these systems are cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic triclinic rhombohedral and hexagonal in case of cubic the length axial lengths a is equal to b is equal to c and axial angles alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 and the examples are copper sodium chloride potassium chloride etc second tetragonal a is equal to b but not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 example y10 sno2 tio2 orthorhombic a is not equal to b not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 example potassium nitrate potassium sulfate monoclinic a is not equal to b not equal to c alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 beta is not equal to 90 example sodium sulfate decahydrated triclinic a is not equal to b not equal to c alpha is not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90 example copper sulfate pentahydrated rhombohedral a is equal to b is equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but not equal to 90 example sodium nitrate and calcite that is calcium carbonate hexagonal a is equal to b but not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 and gamma is equal to 120 example cinnabar that is ags graphite and ice are the examples of this type of the crystal system packing in the case of the crystals in crystals we are having one dimensional packing close packing in two dimensional cases and close packing in three dimensional cases also now first we understand what is the close packing in one dimensional there is only one way in which the spheres are arranged in one dimensional close packed structure these spheres should be touching each other in a row as we have already shown in the first diagram now the close packing in two dimensional cases we are having two type of packing one is known as a square close packing other is known as a hexagonal close packing in case of square close packing each sphere it is in direct contact with four other sphere and the first row of the sphere is stacked over the next row of the spheres in the crystal lattice structure therefore they are able to form a perfect square like structure therefore we call it as square close packing in two dimensional cases now the square close uh, hexagonal close packing in two dimensional cases where the spheres in the second row are placed in the depression of the first row this produced the row different from the first row and here each sphere it is in direct contact with six other spheres and form a regular hexagon and therefore we call it as hexagonal close packing in two dimensional case now the three dimensional packing from the two dimensional hexagonal close pack layer in this case we have seen that the two dimensional packing a more efficient packing is given by the hexagonal close packing now in case of hexagonal close packing in three dimensional cases where the first layer that is a it is placed over the second layer b and again the third layer will show the repetition of the first layer then the one atom it is in contact with six atoms of the same layer that is of a and three atoms of the layer b and the three atoms of the another layer that is b which is present below it the total number of atoms that is 12 which is in direct contact in the case of hexagonal close packing in three dimensional cases while in case of the cubic close packing three dimensional cases it is formed by the repetition of three layers that is a b c here the every fourth layer 
will show the repetition of the first layer. Now, if we want to determine the coordination number of the central atom A, then we observe that in the atom A, it is in direct contact with six other atoms of the same layer. And below the A, we are having the layer C. And the three atoms of the layer C, it is in direct contact with the central atom of A. And three atoms of the layer B, it is also in direct contact with the central atom of A. Therefore, again the coordination number comes out to be 12 here. Now, in case of either hexagonal close packing or in the case of cubic close packing, in both the cases, in the first case we call it as ABAB type of pattern, while in another case we call it as ABC ABC that is cubic close pattern. Now, the number of the closest or nearest neighboring of any constant particle in this crystal lattice is known as a coordination number and that is comes out to be 12. Now we have to calculate the percentage of the total space which is filled by the particle. Here we want to calculate the percentage of the total space filled by the particles that is called packing efficiency or the fraction of the total space occupied by the particles is known as the packing fraction or packing efficiency. Now first of all we have to see the packing efficiency in the case of face centered cube. Now in the case of face centered cube here the AC arm is equal to 4R because all the sphere they are touching with each other. Now the diagonal that is face diagonal AC will be equal to that will be equal to AC will be equal to that will be equal to AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square that is AC square is equal to A square plus A square or AC will be equal to root 2A where R is the radius of the sphere therefore we find that that AC is equal to 4R or that will be equal to root 2A or A will be equal to 4R upon root 2 now that we can also write it in this form r is equal to a by 2 root 2 or a will be equal to 2 root 2 r now if we want to determine the packing efficiency the formula of the packing efficiency is the volume occupied by the four spheres in this unit cell upon the total volume of the unit cell into 100 that will give you the packing efficiency now if we do the cube of a that is 4r upon root 2 that is 2 root 2r if we do the cube of 2 root 2r ka whole cube and we know that in case of fcc number of atoms are 4 4 into volume of one sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 into 4 by 3 pi r cube upon 2 root 2 r cube into 100 that will give you 74 percent and this is the space which is occupied this is the space which is occupied by the atoms in case of FCC that is phase centered cube structure by the constant particles. Now the packing efficiency in the case of body centered cubic structure. Now in this structure it is clear that the atom at the center will be in touch with the other two atoms diagonally as arranged. In the triangle EFD, as we observed here, this is the triangle E, F and D. In this triangle, B square is equal to A square plus A square, that is 2A square, or B is equal to root 2A. Now, in triangle AFD, in triangle A, F and D, in this triangle, we will observe that C square is equal to A square plus B square, that is equal to A square plus 2A square, that is equal to 3A square. Or C will be equal to root 3a. The length of the body diagonal is equal to 4r where r is the radius of the sphere and all are touching with each other. Therefore this is the body diagonal which is root 3a is equal to 4r. Therefore a is equal to 4r by root 3. Now if we do the cube of a we are getting the volume of body centered cubic unit cell. We know that in case of body centered cube the number of atoms are 2 multiplied by 4 by 3 pi r cube into 100 upon root 3a that is 4r upon root 3 ka whole cube 
that will give you the percentage of body centered cube that is 68 percent while in case of simple centered cube here the atoms are present only at the corner and these spheres are touching with each other here these spheres when they are touching with each other therefore here the a will be equal to 2r when we do the cube of a that is 2r ka whole cube that will give the 8r cube now in simple centered cube only one atom is present therefore the volume occupied by the atoms in case of simple centered cube will be equal to 1 into 4 by 3 pi r cube upon total volume that is 8r cube into 100 and that will give you 52.4 percent is the space which is occupied by the atoms in case of simple centered cube now the most important question how can we calculate the density of the unit cell to calculate the density of the unit cell 